I could just kick off by asking, if I could leave it with the Minister, um, one of the statements in, in um, the FAST report, Tipping Point, stated that there's a high probability that our integrated and, and globalised civilization is on the cusp of a rapid and near-term near collapse. An extraordinary statement, uh, and I'd like to think it was an outrider statement uh, that didn't in any way reflect you know, the, the, our possible near-term futures. Um, if I could put you on the spot and ask, around the Cabinet table, you know, I mean, I, I know you don't have special access to Cabinet, but I'm sure you have access to people who do. Around the Cabinet table, has the phrase peak oil, has it entered the political dialogue, even within Dáil Éireann? I don't think it has, uh, to be frank. Uh, I think uh, there is a process of education that uh, is crucial, and the way things work in politics after spending a huge amount of my life in, in that sphere is that you have to educate the decision makers, you have to lobby them, you have to sit down with them and talk them through the process. Uh, that's crucial. We, we, can have, we can have debates and agreement and discussion to, till the cows come home, um, but to actually affect change in policy you, you need to get to the decision makers and that's what many of, many of the um, NGOs that are out there are very good at doing. Uh, I don't think, I don't think um, the Association for Peak Oil has been good at that. I don't think FASTA has been particularly good at political lobbying. The problem is that you can paint the picture of where the challenges are that are five years, three years, ten years, twenty years away. And that doesn't impact too much on the way we do politics in Ireland. What does impact is uh, something happening today or tomorrow or next week. Um, and that's common to politics the world over. But I think it's more so in Ireland because we have two very large centrist parties who are more populist than, in, in the best sense of the word, popular, popular and not policy-driven. That's the challenge. Sure. Okay. Uh, thank you, Minister.